Hey everybody, I want to talk about a product and platform that I absolutely love and our latest sponsor, Interseller, the prospecting and outreach platform of choice for recruiters and sellers. Whether you're doubling down on business development or recruiting talent, Interseller does all the heavy lifting of finding contact data, automating the email and follow-up process, and syncs all that rich data into 20 plus CRM and ATS platforms. Reach out now and get going on a two-week free trial and let them know you heard about it from Adam on the podcast today. Check out the link on the website. Appreciate it. Welcome to the podcast, where we introduce you to incredible humans who share their journeys with the mission to inspire you to harness your own inner tenacity to drive your life and career forward. And now, your host, Adam Posner. Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast where I bring you the best and the brightest in the world of business, marketing, and personal growth to help you harness your inner tenacity and drive your career forward. Folks, first and foremost, thank you so much for joining me on my journey and being part of what I love to call the podcast, my canvas to showcase amazing folks and then bring their learnings, their stories to you. For anybody who's been listening for a long time, you know at the end of every episode, I ask my guests what their North Star is. What is their compass? What drives them forward? Because that's so much to me. That means everything. And my North Star and my compass are my two kids, Nina and Oliver, and my wife, Alona. Everything that I do is for them. My legacy, so they can see how hard their dad works and really set a great example. And ultimately, I want to leave this earth a better place than I found it by making my kids and teaching them to be better than me. So what I would love to do is showcase about 12 of my favorite shows and guests and share what their North Star is with you guys. So sit back and relax, and here we go. So my first guest, Mr. 10X himself, Grant Cardone, a name that a lot of you may know for his loud, in-your-face, unapologetic approach to making money, to working hard, to going after what you want. So I had an opportunity to interview Grant and ask him what his North Star is. What do you think it's going to be? Check it out. People, man, to help people. You know, I wanted, I wanted, when I was lost, I was 15 years old and I started using drugs and I would, I would become addicted to drugs um, for the next 10 years. I wanted somebody to help me. And, and, and I was desperate, man. I was desperate for somebody to reach out and grab me and say, come here. And nobody did. Um, And I didn't really know how to ask for help. Um, And, and I just, you know, I, somewhere along the line in all the confusion and the, the addiction and the lostness, I told myself that one day if I figured out how to get myself out of the shit, and if I could then, once I got out of the shit, become a success, I would help other people. So that's my North Star, man. Can I help a lot of people? In episode 133, a couple of weeks ago, I brought you Lori Rudiman. She is absolutely incredible. She is the author of Punk Rock HR. What I love about Lori is she tells it how it is. And you've got to go back and listen to this episode. It's one of my favorites over the last couple of months because it's raw and it's real. And she gives you real actionable insights to help you in your career. But her North Star, check it out. Some great advice right here. Well, it's a big, broad philosophical question, but one thing I remember when things are tough and life looks bad, today is not tomorrow. This this is something I've been taught my whole entire life. Whatever is going on today can look completely different tomorrow. And as long as you live and breathe, you have an opportunity for a do-over tomorrow. Every day is a do-over. And as long as I believe that, I get through things. Um, Yeah. So it's not like a big, broad philosophical answer, but Today is not tomorrow, and every day is a do-over. These are things that are baked into my DNA. Let's take it to episode 124 with one of the most incredible people that's in my life every single day is Michael Loeb. Now, you may not heard of Michael Loeb, but hopefully after this episode, you will Google him, or at the very least, go back to episode 124 and check it out and find out his story. But Michael is somebody who has inspired me over the last couple of years. He's been a tremendous client and someone who believes in me and trusted me in my day job, which is NHP Talent Group, to lead recruiting at Loeb NYC. He has been a force of nature in my life. He has taught me so much about business, about legacy, and how to just do things the right way. So check out Michael Loeb's North Star in episode 124 of the podcast. 
Well, uh, you know what? I got to tell you, it's what you asked about earlier, um, legacy, right? And um, um, having my name not written water, but written granite, uh, making companies that make a difference um, gives me incredible satisfaction to helping an entrepreneur become successful. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, that never gets old, that never gets tired. Coming up with an idea, Adam, you know, one of the great things is coming up with an idea that was under everybody's noses for years and years and years and years, and nobody put it together. Think about your nightmare. Think about the worst possible place on earth that you would ever not want to be. For me, that's prison. Think about it if you're about 20 days away from your wife having your kids, your twins, and think about the hell that you're about to go through. And think about with everything going through your mind, the regrets, the pain, and then missing so much of the early stage of their life because of the mistakes you made. And that's what my guest, Zach Babcock, has gone through. But he came out the other side better and stronger. And now he's giving back and he's built an incredible company all around podcasting and entrepreneurship. Please check out Zach Babcock's North Star. Man, uh, this is going to sound cheesy because so many, I can't, because, you know, you see so many fake entrepreneurs, yeah. you know, that, that are, you, you could tell, you know, we got, we, we could tell bullshit when we see it, but this truly does like drive the shit out of me. My, my over, like this company that I'm building now, I love it. Super passionate about it. Love every piece of it. And we're doing some, there's a strong mission and why we're doing it behind it. But this is phase one. This is leading to the venture two. Venture two is going to be the outsourcing company that helps convicted felons coming out of prison that were just like myself. And we're not going to give them nothing. We're going to truly empower them and let them become the people they, they need to become to stay out here and be successful and, and, and be in their families' lives and be a productive member of society. So mind over matter. That is what my guest on episode 91, Matt Gagnon, has brought. Tenacity, fire, overcoming odds and obstacles in your way. Matt is an amazing human being, and I hope you check out episode 91 to hear his full story. But for now, check out what Matt's North Star is. Oh, that's faith. Yeah. No, for me, like, it's God. Like, I've got, I've got a lot of faith. Even when I was angry at God and I was mad, um, you know, you have to believe in one in order to be angry at one. So. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I lean into faith <laughs> quite a bit, you know, and so uh, it, and there's honestly, there's a, uh, on my LinkedIn profile, you know, I'm not preachy about it, but like in my LinkedIn profile, I've got a, I've right on my headline, I've got a scripture there. It's a value of mine. I'm not going to hide it. You know, people told me you can't talk about it on LinkedIn. I'm like, well, I can talk about anything. Um, I'm not Bible thumping. I'm just sharing my value. But that scripture just says first Samuel 17, 48. It just says David ran towards Goliath. And I'm like, that's my jam, man. I'm going to, what giants am I supposed to be running towards today? Slay I, them. All of you like, look, you got a giant in your life. Are you running towards it? Or are you retreating? You know, so you can't give that power away to that giant. You run towards that thing and you'd be surprised. Actually, it's not that big of a giant after all, once you start running towards it, it's actually pretty yeah. small. And the, clo and the closer you get to it, the smaller it gets. Yeah. What's great about my next guest, Hala Taha, if we go back to episode 42, which we recorded probably about 16 months ago. And just to look where Hala has gotten to in her career, where she's going, it's been an insane journey to watch her tenacity, her drive, and her journey that she's been through, the ups and the downs. She recently lost her father, which was devastating to her, but she uses his spirit and energy in everything that she does. So let's take it back to episode 42 with Hala as she shares her North Star. You know what? I'm really into the law of attraction. So if I'm ever feeling down, if I'm ever feeling like things aren't going my way, I try to step back and think about, am I being positive or am I in a negative mindset right now? Am I causing this rut myself? And it's just my perspective that needs to be switched. Um, usually what I find is that things aren't as bad as I'm thinking they are. And it's a, it's just a matter of shifting my perspective mm -hmm. and um, outwardly projecting positivity and and things like that and then things end up turning up of course and, and it's that energy of what you put out into the universe is definitely going to come back to you holla thank you so much let's go back to episode 87 with sarah sheehan somebody that i've had a great pleasure to work with in my career from 2006 to 2011 at sirius xm she's had a fantastic journey in the world of hr and helping people and today her and her co-founder lead bravely which helps companies empower their employees by offering mindset coaching, external coaches that come in 
and help them to be better at their job, overcome obstacles. Sarah's North Star is one that we could all relate to. Check it out. I am someone who has never struggled with putting myself in other people's shoes. And so anytime I get down and out about my situation, I immediately think about underrepresented or underprivileged people who just by being born into the circumstances I was born into, I'm just head and shoulders above where most people are in this world. And and I just, like my North Star is just constantly reminding myself that I have been given a lot more privilege than others and that I need to use it and not complain. In episode 59, I bring you Belinda Armaid, a fantastic journey of entrepreneurship about self-introspection and really figuring out what is important in life. Check out Belinda's North Star right here. And go back to episode 59 of the podcast and hear her full story. My North Star when it comes to business is like, why, why am I doing this, right? And so I have a financial reason for why I'm doing this. And then I have also like my intrinsic reason for doing this. And, you know, as an entrepreneur, there are times where it's like, why am I could just get a job. <laughs> I could just get a job in this. It would just, just give be me a steady easy. paycheck. <laughs> right. Um, but I came into this and in, in, in being a consultant because I really wanted to change the way that people sell. Um, that is ultimately, I was tired of arguing, you know, with my superiors. I'm like, nope, I just don't believe in that. That's just not how I want to do things. And I figured, okay, you can't keep saying, no, I'm not going to, I'm flat, I'm not going to listen to you. Um, and so that, that's why I continue to post, um, why I continue to add value, Love why it. I continue to show up. Um, and then I don't forget my monetary goals. It's like, why, why am I doing this for a paycheck? What are the things, you know, for me, it's, it is about money as much as it is about yeah. making an impact. Right. Um, I don't have a trust fund. If I did, I'd be doing this for free because I enjoy it. So exactly. I keep both in mind. One of my favorite parts about hosting the podcast is booking guests. And I had the opportunity on episode 99 to interview the 55th governor of the state of New York, David Patterson, the first blind and black governor in the state of New York. It was actually pretty cool. And he has an incredible story of resilience, his way up the New York state politics, growing up idolizing Muhammad Ali and having the opportunity to march alongside of him in Harlem. We talk about his thoughts on Trump. This was before the second election. Uh, pretty incredible story. And then I asked him what his North Star is. So check out what Governor David Patterson's North Star is and check out one of my favorite episodes, number 99 of the podcast, New York State Governor David Patterson. Uh, my North Star is the understanding that the reason I'm either going through this great tumult or the reason that I'm going through this great triumph is not all my doing. And so I shouldn't get too excited at the high points or too upset at the low points because there's some plan and I'm just happy to be here as long as I have been to try to figure out what it is. People are always ask me what my favorite episode is. And it's hard because I've had so many amazing guests. But when I need to think about those factors that make an episode great, the guests, the quality of the content, the stories, the lessons learned, and you know how I felt as a guest, what a real organic, natural conversation that just flowed. And for me, the one that stands out the most is episode 113 with Matt Higgins. Some of you may know Matt from Shark Tank seasons 10 and 11. Some of you may know Matt as the investor, incredible investor that he is, sits on the board of the Dolphins, the Jets. He is also Gary V's co-founder and investor at Boehner Media. This is an incredible episode. We unpack Matt's journey going back to 9-11, being at Ground Zero, working alongside Rudy Giuliani, to where he is today. Matt's North Star is one that we could all relate to. Check it out. And please check out episode 113. Pause pick favorite right there. So, so I'm glad you set it up that going back to that day when I was 16, I witnessed up close um, powerlessness. And what happens when you are powerless to change your circumstances and you are so desperate, you are sick, you're trying to raise kids, you have no money, you have no health care, and you slowly do everything you can to try to fight out of that, but it's just quicksand and you're sinking and you die. I watched my parent go through that journey and I learned the hard way 
the power of intervention that if somebody had just sort of reached in when I was a nine year old kid and you know 15 year old kid and she how it would have changed the trajectory of her life and a person who had a lot to offer the universe who was incredibly smart would have been able to make a contribution so the highest and best use of your time and energy and money after you take care of your basic needs is to ameliorate suffering of another and so that is my north star it's not like i want to save humanity but when i get excited i imagine you know me further down the road where it's being redistributed and when i say it i don't know what it is power influence money empathy because think about all the desperate people out there and what an impact it would make if you would just reach into their life and so I just try not to stray too far from that little moment, even though it's very painful to think about, but it's so also, I feel like I glimpsed what it's all about, if that makes sense. And so I'm always trying to go back to that place. And last but not least, someone who has been so important in my life in the last seven years. Some of you know her as a chief heart officer at VaynerMedia, Claude Silver, Gary V's right-hand lady to building and maintaining and growing that culture at Vayner. Just when you think of human beings, when you think of those characters, those virtues, she represents everything that's good in this world. And she's been such a motivational uh, aspect of my life after my time at Vayner. And I was excited to sit down with Claude on episode 50 in December of 2019. Fun fact, it's actually my only, well, to this day, we got one coming up, but my only live in-person interview. And I opportunity to go back to Vayner Media offices and sit with Claude for about an hour talk about our journey together, talk about her career, what motivates her, and what Claude Silver's North Star is. Check it out. My North Star is my daughter. That is, and that's new. You know, my North Star was my Nana for years and years who died at 101. She was wow. my heart. Uh, she's my person. Um, my North Star is peace. Like, I need peace. I need peace peace in my life, my home life, my work life. Um, and I need joy. And, and I know, you know, joy is not every day, but I, I need that. So I am always extremely thankful for Shalom, for my family, for my parents' health, uh, for the fact that the sun did come out today. You know, um, I've got a great gig and yeah. <laughs> I get to work with all of these people Every single day. I mean, who gets to do that? When, I, when it is my last breath, this will be part of my story. Hey, I want to thank everybody for joining us on this very special North Star episode of the podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, go back. Go to thepodcast.com. Check out all these past episodes. They're all up there. If you like it, comment, share. It goes a long way. I do this show for you guys from the heart, and I hope you enjoy it. Please remember to take care of each other. Stay six feet apart. Wash your hands. And catch us next week for another great episode of the podcast. Wisdom is forever, but for us, it's time to go. Thank you for joining us. Luckily, we'll be back with our next episode soon, jam-packed with more incredible humans. Thank you for listening, subscribing, and sharing. To join the conversation, search the podcast on LinkedIn. And to catch up on past episodes and more info, please visit www.thepausecast.com.